Welcome to this online labyrinth walk using guided meditation, where you'll be guided through the twists and turns of this old sacred symbol that acts rather like a magical interactive tool, not just changing our mood into one of deep relaxation, but also allowing us to focus our thoughts and reconnect with our dreams and desires so we can begin shaping the future we will walk out of the labyrinth into. This will last about 45 minutes. Don't worry if you're new to labyrinths and haven't done this before. Possibly looking at the complex pattern, you're wondering how you could find your way around it. You can follow this exercise with your eyes closed or open, but however you engage with it, I'll be guiding you through the pattern with suggestions about what you might want to think about to get the most out of it and also highlighting some of the secret power points inside it. Another thing you don't need to worry about is perfectly visualizing. We're all different people with different primary senses. Some people visualize easily. Others find hearing is their main imaginative sense. Others are kinesthetic. For most of us, it's a mix, but all you have to do here is allow your imagination to go where it's going building up the scene using all the inputs that bring it most to life, just like when we have a vivid dream. So let's get relaxed now by focusing on our breathing. Become aware of those quiet breaths going in and out of your body, slowly making your shoulders rise and fall. Steady your breathing to a gentle rhythm. In a moment, we'll be at the entrance to the labyrinth, but before we are, have a moment thinking about what you'd like to get out of this walk. Some like to ask a question internally before going into the labyrinth, thinking that what pops up in there as they walk, in their minds and in their hearts, is part of an answer. It can be a good rule of thumb to treat anything happening in the labyrinth as a reply, but you can also simply allow the pattern to unfold around you enjoying what happens as it all twists and turns, how it makes you feel, seeing what unfolds inside you. To check now, you're going to be relaxed where you've chosen to be, whether you're sitting or lying down. At this point, adjust the audio so you can hear well if needed. If there's any lights nearby that are going to annoy you, now's the time to make any adjustments to your surroundings. Let's go back to that breathing in and out. Get ourselves nice and relaxed to get the most out of a labyrinth walk. As you breathe in, notice how it swells open your chest gently. How you fill with lightness and openness. Breathe in very easily and breathe out any tension that's in your body from the day so far. Imagine you're breathing in and becoming more light, more spacious, beginning to sway very gently like a balloon tethered to the earth by a single string. And when you breathe out, move out into the air any hardness or tiredness in your body. Breathe in to the areas that feel a little worn out, a little stretched. Breathe to where you have any aches and pains and leave it light and spacious, breathing out again. So your breath becomes a wheel moving in and out with no effort at all on your part. Stay with this rhythm of breathing through the exercise. And now we begin to move to the labyrinth itself.
and while we still breathe gently in and out, our shoulders rising and falling, we become aware of our feet moving, walking forwards one step after the other. Your feet move forwards of their own accord, transferring your weight onto one foot your limbs moving gracefully as that weight transfers to the next, one step after the other, moving forwards in a straight line into the labyrinth. And the pathway turns us 45 degrees round to the left. And now we're inside some of those rings that line the centre of the labyrinth. Just like the rings when a tree is felled. All those impacted years stacked one after the other. We're now moving in a quarter circle deep inside this fallen logs pattern. We've already become a little bit lost. Our way forward isn't as clear. And while so much is quickly changed for us, what to hold on to here is your intention of what you might like to get out of the labyrinth today, of why you are walking, what you might be asking for help with. Our feet have found themselves in a U-turn, a turn that twists us round 180 degrees, facing us back the way we came. We're still deep in the rings, and we move onwards, one foot after the other still, feeling safe and relaxed. And be aware of the experience of the labyrinth around you. You may feel you've shrunk to a tiny speck inside this vast pattern, insignificant. feet have turned another right angle round to the left, and we're walking again forwards in a straight line right towards the centre. So, still holding inside you an idea of the intention of what you'd like to get out of the labyrinth today, you move forwards, and you find that we're following a half circle path round that hugs the centre itself on your right is that centre space of its curious petalled shape, and on the left is the whole of this confusing, whirling pattern. Now we'll move very slowly in this pathway here, so close to the centre, and as we do, sense with the right hand side of your body what that centre feels like. If any hope and dream could come true in there, if that is really the place of belonging, of absolutely returning home, a sanctuary that is eternally safe, what form would that take for you? How would it feel? It's only one wall away from you, almost in reach. Cast all your senses out and feel what that centre means to you. And hold some of that glow, some of those feelings inside. Imagine them stored round about your heart area, safe in your ribcage. slightly inside these rings of the labyrinth again. The centre now is moving away from us. You may feel its glow slowly dimming inside. Just like when we turn from a fire and the coldness strokes our back. Now 
our feet are voyaging onwards, moving on, turning in a U shape that takes us into a small zigzag stack, coils of quarter circles.
our feet are turning us once again, a U-turn to the left, back into these stacks of quarter circles layering around the centre, back into the tree rings again. Another U-turn faces us, we follow it round, aware of this immense pattern turning round us. We're approaching the cascade, a hidden, wonderful secret in the labyrinth. In a moment we're going to turn onto the start of a spiral that coils outwards from near the centre all the way to the boundary to the outside of the pattern. A place of great transformation, of potential for change, where one state can move into another. So as now our feet take another U-turn, round to the left, placing us in a half moon going forwards, deeper into the tree rings of the labyrinth. Ask yourself, where would you most like change to happen? Perhaps change is needed or simply desired. It might be small or it might be large, but hold that change in your heart going forwards. Build around you an idea of what you are asking for. Our feet now are turning us around to the right in a U. As we go, hold your intention close still and the idea of the change you would like to draw into your life. Change for yourself or for others, all is for the good. Our feet begin to turn us again, another you around to the left, and we enter the second half moon of this special hidden cascade. Let your senses come more into play. Imagine that change happening without getting bogged down in all the doubts that you might have. Fast forward to the point where it's happened. Imagine it happening. How does it feel inside? Where inside you is there excitement? How does your body feel? What are you seeing around you and hearing in this moment where the transformation is unfolding around you? We move along this half moon pathway, our feet down below us, one step after the other, but in your head, in your heart, you're inside this moment where the transformation has moved to reach you. It's now in your past, it's happened, it's come to you. Your feet again turn round to the right in a U. We move on to a quarter circle, but you're held still inside this moment when change, desired change, something you've wished for, has come into your life. The U turn to the left brings us on to the final half moon of the cascade, the longest one step into this transformed place. Feel with all of your senses the excitement inside, the contentment, the realization that change has happened. How does your future seem to you now? How do you feel about yourself? Have worries been lifted from you like a weight? Are you perhaps zinging with ideas? Maybe it'll also bring peace and happiness to those around you as well. Walk forwards playing all of this out as intensely as you can.
We reach the end of the cascade, our feet moving round to the right, a U-turn. And now we're aware in this quarter circle that the very outside of a labyrinth is closer than before. As we approach another U-turn up ahead, bring us round, the outside is closer still, just a path or two away. Carry some of the glow of that transformation of the cascade inside. Now there's a big sense of looming openness, up ahead is the whole of the outside world, just a few steps away, now we're turning a final U-turn round to the right, and we're on the peripheral pathway, on our left is the whole of the world, all of the moments that have led to now, stretching away to the horizon to infinity, and on the right is this curious pattern, the labyrinth, the centre, a very distant glowing space now. This pathway you're on is a big half moon, and you walk along it perhaps feeling like a sentry or a guardian. Certainly it's an in-between place, in the labyrinth but almost outside, in your life but not quite as normal. This is a boundary pathway, where you can listen to your body and to your mind to those components that do the hard work day to day, moment to moment. Scan body and mind to feel how the last few weeks have left them. Now you turn ahead, turns us round to the right, and we're very slightly inside all those rings again, in a quarter circle, the outer world, pretty close, pretty vast, still in reach, but the labyrinth is drawing us slowly in again, one foot after the other, and we move along as if in a dream. It seems now we've been walking a very long time, and the route from outside to that centre is proving to be a lot more long, a lot more involved than it seemed from outside. Your feet turn round to the left, another U-turn. We're inside a half moon again, a little way inside the circuits, the rings. And you aren't walking alone this time, at your side, or inside you in your own big feet, there's a younger version of yourself walking too. Move on forwards one foot after the other, walking with a younger version of yourself. Notice at which point of your life this younger self is from, where you return to on hearing my words. What do you think that part of life held for you that's so important now? We continue on through this half moon, and it's a time to listen and also talk to this younger self. They may have things they're clamouring to tell you, and you too may have things it seems very important to feed back to them.
As we turn around to the right, a little U-turn into a quarter circle. Is there anything you want to reassure this younger self about? Any fears they may still be holding that prove to be no longer important? As our feet turn again round to the left, another U-turn, placing us in a half circle once more. Are there any dreams and important priorities that this younger self wants to pass on to you? No matter how many years separate you, they still may be important. Use this space for the dialogue it offers between the two of you. And while our feet carry onwards, turning us round to the left in a U, ask your younger self specifically if there are any fears or limitations they sense in you now that seem silly. And as we turn again, a U turn round to the right along another quarter circle, tell that younger self one particular thing that was worrying to them at that time that never happened that can be let go of. As you turn again, round to the left in a U, you find yourself on a long half circle, leading way off into the distance, close again to the outside world, not quite at the boundary but nearly there alone once more. It's the you that lives in the now that moves on. As we pace onwards, gracefully, easily, think about the ground we've covered so far in our labyrinth walk today. The intention that we walked in with, what you may have sensed or want to find at the centre when we moved near to it. What in the cascade you want a transformation in, what you want to change. And all of these different elements are shining on your life and reflecting onto it. We reach the top of this half moon and turn to the right in a U. We find ourselves again at the very edge of a labyrinth, a long boundary, a half moon. All those different parts of the labyrinth walk so far may be reflecting to your life that you like, or it may be one that you feel could be more. This pattern is a place to be at peace with that. We're going to carry in this borderline between outer world and in, past, present and future, all that's good, all that you want, onwards to the very center. The walk may have been a pleasant one, it may have been difficult, the labyrinths will reflect back, to learn from, to observe, to take forwards, but not to be halted by. Never once have we hit a dead end, have we reached a junction where we don't know what to choose. The labyrinth holds a great wisdom in its simplicity.
Our feet now are turning us 45 degrees to the right. We face straight inwards and there, right in front, is the centre, or almost. As we move on inwards, fast forwarding almost through these rings of circuits, the labyrinth plays one final little trick turning us to the right, back into the tree rings, back where we lose some of our sense of orientation. Hold now inside all that's glowing, all that felt strong, keep that locked in your ribcage. As your feet turn around, a final U-turn to the left. Shelter those dreams and desires inside you, like you're cupping a candle's flame against the wind. Keep them safe, flaring and bright, there in your heart area. Turn to the right, 45 degrees. Straight in front, the center lies waiting. Pathway unbroken, unblocked. Carry those dreams carefully as you move your body onwards. You now reach the end of this pathway so that the center itself can open around you. Space. We stand at the very heart of these six petals, the rosette at the labyrinth center. Now here at the center, whatever you want to do is okay. Whether you want to lie down, sit or stand, if you're drawn to go to any of those six petals or remain here right in the center. You can do whatever you like here. This is a place to download and upload. You're alone, but you're not alone. You can be with anybody that you choose to ask for. So make the most of this time here. Explore the center. See if it does live up to what you were expecting earlier, or if it has even more surprises for you. In your mind's eye, imagine going to the very center, the heart of this pattern. Standing upright, with your back straight and throw your arms out high. You're stretching out your arms, your hands and your fingers and way out beyond you, out in space that infinite spread of stars, all of the heat and the light of those twinkling bodies is combining, it's curling and spiraling closer, a vortex of light and warmth that finds its way down to curl and spiral down between your outstretched arms, that warmth and light reaches the crown of your head, and with a glow that infuses every cell of your body. You feel it traveling down through your skull, down through your head and neck, down your trunk following your spine, down to your hips and down your legs, right down to the floor. And it goes further out through the floor, downwards down into the earth and down there, there's a sense of red, strong earth heat. The rocky heat itself is coming up, moving upwards in a spiral of its own, back to find where the soles of your feet are, and its red strong hot glow moves upwards, 
moving all the way up through your body and out through the top of your head so that now, in your mind's eye, as you bring your hands together and close them over your chest, those two lights are moving both ways. The energies are spiraling each in their own way up and through you, down and past you. You are standing like a conduit between those two extremities. And let the glows and the heats of those energies fill your own body here. Imagine that they light up and fill all of your skeleton, every bone inside you. Feel it moving along your limbs deep inside warm and glowing. Feel it encasing your skull, surrounding the busy thoughts going on in there, cupping them as carefully as you cupped your dreams and hopes walking to the labyrinth center. Hold that energy inside you. eye, still in the center of a labyrinth, imagine your arms falling and your body relaxes, turn on your heels 360 degrees, taking in this pattern as it moves around you, this long long pattern that you've walked through, to here you are at the center, safely held. From here, you can leave the labyrinth by ending the exercise and gently returning to your body or you can, with your own imagination, stay with the music that's playing for the next 10 minutes or so and imagine walking the pathway out. But whichever you do, at the end of it be sure to return to your body fully by breathing yourself in little by little and laying the imagined body that's been walking for so long carefully over the outlines of your physical body. So now the music is going to play and whether you want to stay in the labyrinth center a little more or begin journeying out through its pathways, you can do that now. 